In today's video, we have five most ridiculous hacker one reports ever sent, and you really should watch the video until the end because the last report was so bad that the program staff had a crash out. And maybe if you want to become good at hacking so that this doesn't happen to you, then check out my course. Link is in the description. Now, let's get started. So here we go, as promised, five different ridiculous reports, and let's start stripping them apart. The first one says just XSS, and it goes like this. Hi, security team. I found an XSS in old.reddit.com and in reddit.com as well okay interesting he explains what cross-site scripting is apparent if anybody doesn't know you can pause and read what xss is and here is the set by step by step by set apparently not even step by that no wonder why i stuttered there instructions to execute the xss so first things first you have to open the browser and navigate to the page then you have to open dev tool then you have to add this payload uh, okay, and this is the payload. It's basically calling an eval or just function like this. And here's the impact. All right, let's take a look at the screenshot that he has provided. And within the screenshot, we can see that a uh, little interesting thing. He basically opened Chrome Developer Tools, pasted this in the Chrome Developer Tools and executed the alert one. Well, let me tell you something. This is called self XSS. And Basically, most websites, what they do is they immediately want to open the console. You can check that out on Discord, by the way. You go to Discord, open up the console, and it will tell you, hey, don't paste anything here, whatever the attacker told you to paste. Now, again, not having that in your console, not having it say, don't paste anything, if it's not a vulnerability. And this is 100% not a vulnerability. It would have been a vulnerability maybe if there was an input field, but it's not really reflected. So you can definitely trick someone to paste something into an input field. But opening Chrome Developer Tools and doing all of this is just not going to happen. And obviously, this was closed as not applicable. Again, I said not applicable. It's closed as not applicable. I'm sorry. <laughs> And as you can see, the present issue appears to be self access, which is not directly exploitable. And the funniest thing here says, hi, are you new to this job or something? Like what? <laughs> he says, if you are not new, then not new. I don't know what he wanted to say here. Then how you don't know about the Java script eval function? The payload which I have provided is based on the eval function. You can see the payload. Please tell me. Please tell the security expert to review my report. All oh my days. No. And no. No, 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 no. Okay, so what we can learn from this is don't report random crap you found. I mean, again, this researcher, this was in 2021. So this research is probably now better. But as of now, if we reflect back on this, who requested disclosure? Uh, he requested to disclose this report, which is all right. Again, he wanted to publicly humiliate himself. But again, nothing to make fun of here. Just everybody had these reports back in the days. The second one makes absolutely zero sense to me. So let's get started. He's hello. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I have to read it like this. I am something found a server issue, which disclosing sensitive information. Fix this ASAP. Hope you give money. I, I, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Everybody asks for money, especially the ones which get closed as spam. And this is the proof, sir, your site. Sir, your site, this site works on, okay, for the sake of myself or not, I don't want to have a concussion. I'm not even going to read it. He does supply like an image, which, you know, it basically means that this site only works in browsers with S and I support. It doesn't work with older browsers, for example. And it, he, he sends an image of Obama having a handshake with a person and he plasters his face. I'm assuming that's his face. He just puts his face over this person and he's like, hey, I met Obama. And obviously he's going to get closed as spam and that's it. And they requested to basically disclose this report just for everybody to see what dumbass, what type of people exist today. So nothing to take from this. Let's go over to the next one. The next one is a bit of a controversial one. See, it says no rate limiting for password reset email leads to email flooding. Now again, it's controversial, as I've said. So let's just take a look at it. There is no rate limiting, no rate limiting. OK, that's a word implemented in sending the password reset email. Thus, an attacker can use this vulnerability to bomb out the email box of the victim. And it basically steps to reproduce is log in here. Go to this 
website, then enter email to reset password and click enter to capture the request in Burp Suite. Then send the captured request to the intruder and repeat the request in the loop. And then you can check the email. Your email is being flooded by Upchief reset password email. And basically he makes a fair statement. Raid limiting should be implemented to prevent email flooding. Now, why would this be closed as not applicable, not relevant, or basically nothing? Well, what you need to do is every time you start hacking the program, read the scope, read the scope, the already known issues. Just take your take a five minutes to read that out because take a look at this. Thank you for your submission. Unfortunately, this particular issue you reported is explicitly out of scope as outlined in our policy page. We are aware of rate limiting issues and a report of this issue will be closed as not applicable. There it is. And I don't know why they requested to disclose this report. I mean, I, 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 I'm assuming they wanted to show like, hey, don't report this issue because we already know about it. But I, I wonder have they fixed it. So can somebody go test this out because it's been four years just to see have they fixed it. <laughs> the next one is absolutely ridiculous one. I must admit it's absolutely ridiculous. And what it just says is account info. That's it. That's the entire report. It's been sent to Ruby on October 23rd, 2017, though. It's a bit older one, but it just says account info, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing else. You just account info. Account info. And obviously, they close this as spam. And then the person requested to disclose this report. What is going on with you, man? What's going on? Why would you? Why? Why the hell would you request to disclose this? Because it's nothing. It's nothing. I'm assuming it could be private. There could be probably more to this. But even though bugs and account info, what can we take from this? nothing? Dude, I, okay, let's just get to the final one for, for the sake of my mental health. The final one is absolutely ridiculous because of what the legal robot staff had to say. Now, I actually want to reach out to Dan Rubens, who is a legal robot staff. I, I'm assuming he's a CEO or something, but I want to reach him out to ask him what's going on. <laughs> Why are people just sending? Because when I was look, making this video, I, when I was doing research to find like these reports, I found so many sent to legal robots. So maybe I should reach him out to have a little interview with him to ask him what's going on. <laughs> legal robot title. Well, I'm a hacker in the message you set, whatever, whatever this word is in your and then he drops an f-bomb and he sends a koala picture which is quite interesting it's not loading but and then the response is absolutely hilarious this is what you choose to spend your time doing really like you got up this morning and decided you know i should really send some obviously spammy messages to h1 programs for what what is the possible payoff for this pointless behavior and the response is absolutely ridiculous. He just says, what the man? He says, what the man? <laughs> what is going on with these people? And he says, wow, cool. He's like, all right, I get this. And he absolutely requested to disclose this report and disclose it, but not before locking it so that this person cannot post any further comment. Thank you so much for watching this, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you liked it. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.